This is like the most awkward position I could possibly put myself in. The last time you were over, I don't even remember what was going on. Were we harvesting? Did we make it to harvest? Were we done harvesting? I, I can't even remember. <laughs> All right, in June, I made a million dollars. I became internet rich, so I'm quitting. It's been fun, nice to see you, bye. Things got crazy at the end of the year. They're always crazy. And then we went right into winter, which is never a very thrilling, happy time, but also it was very busy. The kids started doing soccer in the winter because I thought it'd be a nice bridge from the fall to the spring. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. I don't think we will do that again. The schedule was so hectic. So anyways, soccer just ended this past weekend and I was like, oh good, I'll finally have some breathing room, some time to like chill. And I walk outside and it is 77 degrees outside. And this is my garden. Is that a solo cup? Bruh, I can't even. It's another update. I started saying bruh or bro or sometimes even bruv. That's the English way of saying bro. I did it because my kids wouldn't stop saying bro. So I started saying it so they would stop and they did stop, but now I can't stop. So now I need like my mom to say bro to me so that I stop saying it. So anyways, last year's garden, in hindsight, was really good. We grew more food than we have ever grown. Okay. Ever, and we canned more food than we've ever canned. Which isn't saying that much because I don't feel like we really canned that much before. But we definitely stepped it up a, a, a bunch of notches. And while it ended up being really good, it just felt extremely overwhelming. Like super overwhelming. <laughs> Um, we could not harvest everything. And this is like from 1 20th of the green bean patch. So I had planted like what, like 200 green bean plants or something ridiculous like that. Yeah, I didn't can anywhere near all of them. I don't even think I canned half of them. And we still got a lot of green beans up on the shelf. And then I, I remember growing like a bazillion cabbages. which then got decimated by those cabbage moths, which I'm sure are already, I'm sure they're already out. I'm sure they're already here. Even the lettuce, it's like it was just a lot. What I needed was some more succession planting instead of like a hundred heads of lettuce all at one time. So this year I was thinking of scaling way back. I was like, I'm gonna do half the garden and flowers because I want to enjoy my garden, not feel completely overwhelmed by it all the time. And then I just went grocery shopping <laughs> and the prices rose again. And now I'm like, maybe I shouldn't hold back. Maybe we should still try to grow a lot. So I'm very on the fence as to what to do. I have not started a single thing. It's 77 degrees. I have not started anything. Like, bruh, bruh. In other news, the chickens are still alive and Bo did a major update to their coop. Check that out. We still haven't fixed the fence. Um, it has a roof and reinforced everything. No raccoons are getting in this. Of course, the chickens aren't in it either. So, I mean. Um, we just checked on the bees today, took the reducers off the hives. We did lose one hive. But really, I kind of expected that because we only had one hive and it split into them three different hives. <laughs> 
and one of them just didn't really have the numbers to sustain it. The two that are here look like they're doing really good. So fingers crossed that we actually get some honey this year because last year we didn't because they were so busy splitting themselves. So that's all the updates. I don't know what this year will bring and I guess we'll find out together. Will I finally get a horse? Will we move into a different house? Will we get hit by a tornado this year? Will I finally lose my mind? What's new with you? <laughs> Just really catch up, tell me what's been going on. Uh, yeah, and I'll be seeing you.